Well, now we're going to take a look at the layout of a gravity sewer system and the different uh, types of systems that make up a gravity sewer system. So what we have drawn here is basically just a tip, typical town that's laid out in a square. And we're going to start at the lower portion of this slide at the wastewater treatment plant. And we're going to talk about the interceptor sewer. So those uh, dark lines heading from the town to the wastewater treatment plant would be our interceptor sewer. And that's a sewer that receives flow from a number of other large sewers or outlets and then conveys that water to the wastewater treatment plant for final disposal. So interceptor sewers or interceptors are the large piped portions of the system. Well then now we add in some trunk sewers and these trunk sewers uh, run from at key locations through the town and these trunk sewers receive wastewater from many tributary branches um, or sewers that serve large territories and large populations. So the trunk sewer delivers its water to the interceptor or the intercepting sewer and then ultimately it goes to the wastewater treatment plant. And something I want to point out here, as you can see in the upper right hand corner, we say that's the high point and the lower left hand corner is the low point. So this is a gravity system. So we've positioned the wastewater treatment plant at the low point of the terrain in this community so that all of the wastewater can gravity flow to the wastewater treatment plant. And this minimizes uh, Power. However, you'll see later in a couple of slides that we do have a lift station because there, there are times when it, if it's on level terrain, your trenches get so deep that you need to raise the level of your sewer so it can continue to gravity drain. Well, next we're going to take a look at the main sewers. So these are these uh, brown dashed lines. These are sewer mains. A main sewer is a sewer line that receives wastewater from many tributary branches and sewer lines and serves as an outlet for a large territory or is used to feed an intercepting sewer. So you can see on the drawing here we've got our mains that go into the intercepting sewer but they also go in to the trunk sewers. So mains are usually smaller lines than the trunks. Trunks are usually smaller lines than the interceptors. So we're going working our way from the larger lines to the smaller lines. And then next we have branch sewers. A branch sewer is a sewer that receives wastewater from a relatively small area and discharges into a main sewer that's serving more than one branch sewer area. So these yellow uh, dotted lines represent the branch sewers uh, that are coming from these small areas that feed into the sewer mains and then ultimately end up at the wastewater treatment plant. And then lastly we have our laterals and that's the red dotted lines here. Um, a lateral sewer is a sewer that discharges into a branch or other sewer and has no other common sewer tributary to it. And It's sometimes called a street sewer because it collects wastewater from individual homes. And You can see here we've uh, put in the gravity flow line Basically, the terrain flows from the upper right-hand corner down to the lower left-hand corner. Well, what flows into the laterals? Well, that would be the building sewer systems. As you can see here, all this piping connected to the building before it goes into the city's sewer system is called the building sewer system. So the point that it connects to the sewer and becomes the city's responsibility, um, everything up to that point is considered part of the building sewer system. And then the last thing we want to talk about when we talk about gravity systems is the lift station. A lift station is a wastewater pumping station that lifts the wastewater to a higher elevation when continuing the sewer at a reasonable slope would involve excessive trench depth. So we already talked about that. So if your trenches start getting too deep to where 
your manhole access is uh, just too deep down, you'll have a lift station that will raise the level of your sewer and bring the wastewater up to that point so it can continue to drain by gravity. And these stations uh, are equipped with either air operated ejectors or centrifugal pumps. Centrifugal pumps are more common in these applications than the air ejectors. 